Do you believe everything you say to yourself? So important to understand that there are situations that you will partake in or do that will help you feel that wholeheartedly rather than just lying to yourself. Like, we're going to get there eventually. We're going to get there, right? But it's like, are you doing the things that you need to be doing to get there? And I guess that's a big part of it, right? Like, I think getting past that lying to yourself is putting forth the action to make yourself feel how you want to feel one day. Yeah, that's the formula. That's the formula. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> Solved. <Yeah. laughs> I want to get to a place where I am practicing what I'm preaching and also feeling it. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? What's up, man? Do you believe everything you say to yourself? Like, we some... Okay, not to be corny, but like, you know, those like in the movies where people are like prepping for an interview and they like go into the mirror and they're like, you got this. You're ambitious. You're smart. You're intelligent. Okay. Obviously, we're not doing that every day, right? But like in your gut of gut, when you say things and you're just like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to achieve that. Like, do you really believe that? You know, that's such a good question. You know why? Because like I'm starting to understand that like I would have those moments too where I'm just like, I got this right. Or um, like I'm going to bar this, etc. And the the doubt and the um, not believing full heartedly and trying to do this like another type of like law of attraction to make myself believe that I'm feeling that way would start to creep in. Right. And you know why that is? Because the preparation probably wasn't there mm. or the the realization that I'm not ready, but I'm trying to convince myself of, uh, that I'm ready. Right. Like, for example, if we come up here. Right. And we have an, a guest. Right. And it's one of our biggest guests today. Right. Like. For example, if we're interviewing Barack Obama or President Trump or just like someone that's like huge up there, right? That's like we're sweating and we're tweaking about it. And I'm like sitting in front of the mirror or I'm in my room like, oh, you got this. You got this. And that doubt starts to creep in. It's because we're not prepared. But if we had been preparing and your confidence is at an all time high, like I remember when we when I was playing football, right? We would practice for weeks on end for this big game, right? And from drill to drill to drill to drill to watching film to film to film to film come game day it didn't matter how i felt it was like yeah it's just second nature now like i'm going to go there handle business right but like for a test a math test with dj baker i would go in and i'd tell him we're going to we're going to bar it we're going to bar it and i'm just psyching myself out like not out but like psyching myself into thinking that I'm going to bar this test, knowing that I didn't actually study for the test and I'm just going to wing it or whatever. That's when I'm, I draw the line of like, do I actually believe this? I think it has to do with confidence. Yeah. I, I think for me, I want to get to a place where I, f I'm feeling everything that I'm saying. Like I actually feel that way. Like, you know, right now, I'm seeing a trend with a lot of the people that I'm talking to and catching up with. And a lot of people are feeling down. A lot of people are feeling unmotivated. A lot of people are feeling um, kind of lost, confused, don't know where to go from here, just given the climate of the world and the changes in their life. And, you know, we talk ourselves through these things, with, but I'm happy. I'm grateful. You know, it's fine. It's going to be OK. And I almost feel like we have to make those excuses for ourselves just to get ourselves to continue to like just survive where it's like, well, when you say those things, do you actually feel that? Are you actually happy? Are you actually content? If you're like, I think we need to normalize actually speaking more on what we are feeling. No, I'm sad. I'm hurt. I'm scared. Like that's not as common versus but I'm grateful and I, I, I'm guilty of this. Like I'll recognize all the things that I feel and I know are wrong with me and, but I'll say the complete opposite of it. Like I'm grateful, like, because I feel this natural need to like, um, compensate for it, you know? And a lot of that has to do with, excuse me, I almost choked on my gum. A lot of it has to do with, I am, I am grateful, but sometimes I don't feel that way. Sometimes I am feeling lost, confused, hurt. Why not me? You know? And I, and I want to get to a place where I can 
I can feel more of what I'm saying. You know, even as spiritual as I am, a lot of the times when something I want doesn't go my way, I'll reflect it to mm, God's timing, God's call. And yes, true, but like sometimes I don't want to believe that. Sometimes I don't feel that. Sometimes I'm just like, no, dude, it just didn't happen. That wasn't meant for you. So, you know, or like, I consider myself a point, uh, uh, someone to lean on for a lot of my friends and that motivational speaker that like gives them that, that push. Right. And I've done it. I've done it for a lot of people. I've had to do it in management for so long. I had to kind of pick them up when they were feeling down. Um, and I've preached a lot of the things that I don't really believe in a sense where like, I've told people to feel some type of way. I honestly didn't feel that way. Like, but I would, I would push that effort on them because I want them to feel that way. And I want to feel that way too. I just didn't in that moment. And it had to do with where I was going through in life or, you know, situations and circumstances in my life. And I want to get to a place where I am practicing what I'm preaching and also feeling it because I want to just feel content. I'm tired of not feeling good. And don't get me wrong, in so many areas of my life, like, thank God, Alhamdulillah, are great. They're so good. I'm so content. But there are other areas in my life where I am sad and I don't feel accomplished and I don't feel like I'm where I want to be and I'm not able to move forward and I'm preaching all these things and I'm trying to influence it maybe so that I can hear it myself, but I want to get to a place where I feel it too. Yeah, I think it's just working within your truth. Right. And it's like you're you are right. Like if someone's going through like a guy issue. Right. And you went through a weird time with a guy. You're not going to sit there and you're not the type of person to be like, well, all men ain't like, no, you're going to find someone. But in realization, in your head, you probably just went through a fucking weird thing. Also, you know what I mean? Wait, but you know what? It also yeah. depends on the day. Like today, my cousin wrote me. You saw I put it was so funny because I legit felt that way in that moment. Like she was like, do you ever just look up and say, like, thank God, I know it's you. Like um, she was insinuating that. Thank God. Like I look up and I'm thinking, you know, I'm grateful. And I responded with, no, I look up and I say, I've seen what you've done for others. <laughs> and there are days where I actually feel that way. Right. Yeah. So it's like, you have to catch me at the time where maybe I am preaching what I actually feel in that moment. But then what I, I guess you're right. It just, it changes. It changes because like, look, <clears throat> today you might have not seen something from across the world where a body of people weren't going through something drastic, but I guarantee you yesterday or the day before you were, and you were thanking God and so grateful, right? It's dependent on, you know, your emotions. You could be very grateful one day. We should always be grateful, but I get what you mean, right? You want to say, if you're going through something really, really terrible, right? You want to be like, well, I'm grateful for other things, right? I'm grateful for this. But sometimes your brain doesn't work that way. You're still basking in the sadness. You're going through that feeling. You know what I mean? It's hard to be like. But I think you also have to believe it. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. we, by nature, we're just like, but I'm grateful. It's fine. Yeah, this that's is, by It's nature. meant to be, right? Like in the times where you're going through something really, really bad. And then you have to tell yourself, well, this was meant to happen to me. But like, I didn't want this to happen to me. Yeah. Like, I don't deserve this to happen to me. But, of course, we're going to sit there and be like, it happened for a reason, right? So, like, I get it. I totally understand. There's always just, like, this gray area. And there's also, like, I love to see the community of women nowadays more so that are uplifting other women. You're a beautiful woman. You're a strong woman. You're a passionate woman. I'm seeing but it all over TikTok. But what if you're TikTok. ugly? <laughs> just then, like, say the truth. Like, you're an ugly woman. You have okay. no standards. Like, but you, you can... No, no. You're not intelligent. No, you're <laughs> ugly as... But... <laughs> You can do so much. No. <laughs> just get a facelift. Yeah. Like fix your nose. Do so like, oh, No, like. but I'm saying like people empower that, yeah. be, which I love to see the community of just uplifting one another, right? Bro, Men what are talking about? There really is it. Have you seen the a poor girl on Love is Blind? No, I don't bro, watch Love is Blind. Bro, there's this girl on Love is Blind, bro, and basically <laughs> Love is Blind is a show where two people... <laughs> Love is not blind, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Love is not blind. No, but the girl is pretty in her own way and stuff like that, but she basically told a guy that she resembled Megan Fox, <sighs> and there was this other girl that, again, like, she can have disadvantages, advantages to her personality, etc., right? I would say this other girl was very pretty compared to this other girl. In my eyes, someone else might think that this girl is thing, but to me... I would have chose the other girl. Well, the girl told her that she looked like Megan Fox, uh, uh, told him that she looked like Megan Fox. And when they did the reveal, he was just like this. <laughs> and she did look like Megan Fox. And they are flaming her all but over TikTok. she believes what she says. Yes. She says she looks like Megan Fox yes. and she believes that. Yes. And I want to get to the point where I'm believing everything I'm yes. saying. Like, yes. And I do to an extent. I think there's just certain days where I'm just like, 
I don't really believe that, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Don't say it. So I'm trying to normalize, like, yeah. just being true to ourselves yeah. and believing what we're saying. Because, like, I'm going back to that community of all these women and men also uplifting one another on social media, which I love to see. It's like you are pushing out that stuff, and it's like you're saying it, but it's like, do you really feel that way, I guess? you know, like you it's, pra- uh, it's similar to, like, are you practicing what you're yeah, preaching? Yeah, and it's so much more deeper to feel it versus say it. I think it has everything to do with how you're actually feeling at the end of the day, not what you're preaching. You have to be able, because you can say all these things, go home and feel horrible and miserable and go to sleep crying every night and this is true to many people we don't know you know but I think it's just being and deserving to ourselves that we owe it to ourselves to be honest and normalize I'm not having a good day I don't feel good I don't feel pretty I feel fat I feel insecure I don't feel smart I I sorry I had like can you help me on this I don't know what I'm doing like that's so frowned upon now and it sucks because we're human beings and a lot of the times we cannot be perfect dude like we can't and we force this like ideology of perfection on people in this day and age that we live in with the lifestyle that influences people and it's just not realistic it's not realistic people go to sleep every night questioning themselves doubting themselves hating themselves and telling themselves things they don't believe and you're going to live this lifestyle of what constantly lying to yourself. It's just not healthy. It's not healthy. I also have a problem with being too truthful, though, also. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I give up too much information to, like, a stranger. Yeah, you do. But to yourself, it's like, fine. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I walk away from certain conversations. I'm like, should I have said that? Like, At I least will meet a stranger, walk away, and he has his social. Yeah, my social, <laughs> my phone number. Identification. Like, even yesterday, like... When someone asks me about what I do for a job and stuff, like I will give them the whole rundown down to the blueprint, down to my CPA, down to like everything <laughs> possible. Because, You'll give like, them your job. Yeah, literally. Walk my away title and everything though. And it's like, you, I also found that like there's power in, in, in living in your truth, right? There can, is. There's a lot, right? Yeah. And like we often don't follow through with that because like we're trying to kind of um, – help other people, like, try to relate to other people, or, you know, like, if you're going through a rut, it's totally fine to kind of let that truth be known. But, again, we live in an era with social media and stuff where you're showing the highlights of your life, right? And everybody else is showing the highlights of your life. So if you're just kind of, like, explaining to somebody how you're just feeling and it's just not – you're not in a right headspace and stuff, it's just like, ah, I think it just is more so, like – being honest with yourself so that you can go to sleep trusting yourself and and living in truth, yes, but careful with who you trust. You know, that is, is really more so. It's like you can be a truthful, honest person, but you also have to recognize who you're being honest to and true to. You have to be also cautious of your surrounding and your environment. We just talked about it. Like, um, you know, energies are strong, but it's like I think what I'm really trying to say is just like practicing what we preach because we owe it to ourselves to be honest with ourselves so that you don't get to a place where you don't recognize yourself, you know? And there's also like when it comes to like goals and stuff, right? Where we say like, oh, you and I will talk about like where we're planning on going and stuff like that and where we're headed and stuff, right? But it's like so important to understand that there are situations that you will partake in or do that will help you feel that wholeheartedly rather than just lying to yourself like we're gonna get there eventually we're gonna get there right but it's like are you doing the things that you need to be doing to get there right it's like for your makeup brand right or the podcast or whatever it is right like if we're not putting in the work but we're just telling each other like look we're gonna be here or going to be here at one point do you really feel that way Because, like, if you're not doing it, you're not going to feel that way, right? But if you do one thing that adds to that end goal, you are going to feel confident. You are going to be like, damn, we really are. Like, the other day, you were posting um, the the editing and stuff, right? And doing the editing and our views and, like, the subscribers were skyrocketing, right? And in that moment, I, like, looked at my phone. I was like, yeah, like, we are. (laughs) Right. But like when we weren't doing that and we weren't seeing like our work translate, like it's like, do you really feel like you're going to make it like, do you know, do do I make sense? I think some things are also meant to happen too that you'll naturally feel like, of course, yeah, of course. But like, if you're just lying to yourself and just trying to make yourself feel this way, rather than like actually applying yourself in that sense of direct, it's like this, right? I think with goals and aspirations, you have to be delusional. I'm not saying not to be delusional. I'm saying with emotional state. No, like, no, no, but not dilute. I'm just saying the opposite, actually. Yeah, no, because we talk about this. Like, 
I, yes, I 100% believe that the outcome of the work we're putting in will translate one day. But it's because of the work that you're putting in. That's yes. why you believe it. Yes, but if it's you also weren't because doing it's the work, something you want, though. Yeah, but if you weren't doing the work and we weren't posting or you weren't opening up an LLC, uh, talking to manufacturers about your brushes, etc., yeah. You're not going to feel like you're like, yeah. you're going to be living in like a lie. Kinda. So you're saying like, yeah, so we could say, oh, I feel good. But like, are you doing things to actually feel good? Exactly. I see what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I guess that's a big part of it, right? Like, I think getting past that line to yourself is putting forth the action to make yourself feel how you want to feel one day. Yeah. That's the formula. That's the formula. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Solved. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I definitely think that that's literally what you have to do. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That's a good point. And, and with the with the understanding of yes, it it does get difficult because when you are in a mental state, sometimes you are out of control. You can't really get to that peak, and something has to happen where you get that pump and you get that. Oh yeah, okay, there it is. But um, but I think it all has to do with and even self doubt. This is driven through self doubt. We've talked about this a lot. Of it, the only way to tackle it is to just take on the action of what it takes to get there to eventually feel it. I agree, Niels. Wow. Where can they find us? YouTube.com slash Podcast. TDP? We out. We out.